So, how you guys doing? Um, yeah, so I, I just got home. Fucking uh, building a house again with my uh, old boss. So, kind of chilling. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess I got two things to update. One, my uh, kicker system. Kicker DX amp. 250 I know uh, I was messing around I didn't have the fuses so right now it just goes to show you know it's actually kicker makes a pretty good uh, good amps I always like their amps the speakers are a little uh, I don't, don't want to talk too much about it yeah anyway so the fuses are not what it's supposed to be and fucking works no problem doesn't heat up doesn't shut down nothing um, I don't know if you guys remember the functions of this uh, this series amps. You don't need your uh, remote wire and like the normal shit that um, you will need to plug most of your amplifiers. Like it has a 12 volt turn on and uh, your remote and uh, just by noise. If you plug in your RCAs, that makes the amp turn on. Every time there's bass, you know your uh, your amp will be on. The only maybe bad thing about it is that if you're playing it really low, it might not, you know, kick in. But basically, you have to have it at one or two. So most people have it a little louder than that. So I don't really think it's an issue. I like this amp, no problem. Maybe a little too much for it. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, I'll show you guys. I got the meter thing going on. I also finished putting in my uh, SCAR audio subs. Oh, not subs. Uh, speakers. I had to fucking cut and shit. Don't, don't be mad. Some people don't like it when you cut your own car and you know shit. Even though I can get these pieces again in uh, my. Uh, salvage out or you know um, whatever fucking uh, yard so I'm not really too worried about whatever I messed up because I can always fix it and I already done it before so anyway I'm gonna bump you right now 2-8 okay, They put a function to stay so 128 it's not bad at all for uh, two little eights <laughs> phone kind of sucks a little so um what is it called and i really catching all the flexing and shit but um i'll show you guys what the subs look like in the box quick
not much rattling but One twenty nine point three. I turn it up a little bit more. I guess got a little uh, louder. I think you say one twenty eight point something earlier. But um, yeah, not bad at all. Um, the amp doesn't get hot for those eights. It's a uh, plenty of power. I'm pretty sure that amp probably pushes. It has two. Uh, 15 amp fuses so by uh, by you know that um, by that equation that uh, most people go with that's uh, 30 amps that's about 300 uh, RMS and uh, I'm pretty sure it fucking does that because I've used this amp to bump other subs good subs you know good brand rack for and shit and uh, yeah it pushes them little amp but um it's good. The power consumption on it, you didn't really shit. charging system well brand new alternator the battery is uh, not I don't know almost three years old so yeah I don't know I guess either way it only dips 0 0.3 0 0.4 you know and uh, that's turned up all the way making some pretty good bass like actually I can hear it inside uh, the house and actually feel it so uh, pretty good setup. It's not bad. Um, I could have made the box a little bigger, and then the uh, the sound would have been a little deeper. But I kind of wanted it, uh, you know, more quality than uh, just loudness. So either way, if you're buying these subs, you're not really fucking uh, trying to be too loud. So um, I don't know. Pretty good subs. Um, I don't know. I guess they asked me. Like I say, I don't want to talk bad about the brand or anything. But to me, nowadays, kickers might be a little uh, more expensive than you know what they should be, because they are, to me, on the lower end of the subs. Good subs, you know, spectrum. But um, that's my opinion. I don't know. Everybody likes what they like. These square subs are pretty damn good. So, but they definitely do not handle more than 800 RMS for the L7 stoves. So I mean, I don't know. I'd like to fucking be able to throw you know two 2,000 RMS like my old uh, MTX. What, 7500s and up could take that much? Or what is it, 8000 and up series? But, you know, uh, either way, good brand, good uh, SQ sub. So, not bad. Not bad. But, um, yeah. And, um, again, this is Kicker's lower end. The DX series, the yellow, uh, and the yellow color uh, series. So the other ones get better. The, but um, yeah, I don't know. preference. To me, it's not a bad system, and I really like that the power consumption is uh is minimal. It basically uh, needs as much power as this uh, rock for amp. That I have running my uh, all my highs. So even with both of these things combined, yeah, my 
my lights dim dim it's pretty fucking nice so i mean i'm used to having a loud ass like super loud you know sub system so you know kind of just depends on the box you made for them too and what you want out of them these subs you'll be more sq so we really want you know down and kind of don't care for so much for quality sound you know you you might be looking like let's say for example sound down or um i don't know audio pipe is we got some pretty uh budget friendly subs well anyway that's it no no we're getting off the subject this shit bumps pretty good and uh, i could push it a little bit more but uh, I'm not planning on keeping this uh, system. I'm just testing it, breaking it in, and making sure everything is good. But uh, yeah, basically, I'm just gonna carpet these subs, put in a, uh, a terminal cup for the wires, and sell it as a complete package, basically. I'll probably just 200 bucks. 250 if I plug it in for somebody. Not too bad. But um, I guess you guys stay tuned. Take care.